Well, what can I say? Ten years on, the, yes. the first time I interviewed you was in two thousand and eight, and it was only Damn. A, yeah, it was only afterwards my friend told me that the mic recorder wasn't working. So, really? well, so that, this we're is not going to have that problem this yeah, time. Yeah, this is the first official G Sean interview. There we go. Uh, with myself. Uh, so, Asian Network Live twenty eighteen. Jay, you're back across from the states. How are you? Good, man. I'm good. I've been here for a few days, so I'm not jet lagged. Yeah. Up. I'm not tired, I'm feeling fresh, I'm feeling in, you know, feeling the vibes. I've got to say, I'm loving the hair. Thank you, bro. Uh, I'm a hair man, and you know I mean? as much as we appreciated the shaved head... I had to grow it back, bro. It's nostalgia, it's like, yeah. you know, you're bringing it back. Bringing it back, but also, like, with a different vibe. Remember? Yeah. Remember, because when it was spiky, I had the mullet, it was all a bit too much. This is just, like, you more of, a, like, a... Gentleman look. Yeah, yeah. Sophisticated and sort of gentleman look, you know Between you and Guru Rundawa, like, you guys are competing for best dressed male tonight. Bro, it's so funny. I just saw him walking out, and we looked at each other, and, like, yeah, we're wearing the same clothes. <laughs> exactly. The same. And he's going on before me, and then, so now I'm going to be coming out and be like, look like I just borrowed his outfit after he came off stage. Well, it could be a great wedding party, you know? We could make a good little, yeah, we could do like a little duet boy band thing it would be afterwards, perhaps. But he has spoken very highly of you. He says he wants, to, he wants to collaborate with you. Oh, wicked, I know you've eh? been asked this, but, you know, is it something potentially in the pipeline? You know, absolutely. I, uh, you know, I'm totally up for, you know me, like my, I'm, I collaborate with people from all over the world, man. I mean, that's, that's what I enjoy doing because I like bringing different fan bases together. I like bringing different sounds together. You know, I tour the world a lot, you know what I mean? And I, um... Uh, you know, I was in Puerto Rico and I was in there in a local reggaeton joint and I was like, man, I was listening to the stuff and I was like, I want to do something like this. That's how Push It Up came about so many years ago. Mm. We did Push It Up like 10 years ago. We put, we fused reggaeton with, with R&B and Pangra on one song. Three genres in one song. Years back. You know yeah. what I mean? And um, then I went over to Africa and I was in South, I was in, I was in Kenya. I went to a local spot. I heard the African beats, and I was like, I want to get together with an African artist. I did a song with Davido. Exactly, yeah. You know what I mean? Exactly. So that's what I like doing. And and I, and I think Guru is is a lovely guy, great singer. You know why not? It's something that could happen. Now, have you recorded a new album? I have. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, what can you tell us about it? It's 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 fire, bro. It's 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 like legit yeah. something that needed to happen now. Couldn't have happened earlier. It's just it. It's just that's it's perfect because it's perfect for me because I didn't force a damn thing. You know what I mean? It was Some, all natural, yeah. Yeah. Sometimes it's like, oh, we need to write an album. Why? Because your fans need an album. Okay, but I don't feel inspired by anything right yeah. now. Which is why I didn't do an album for so many years. I was like, eh, music's okay. It's alright. Not feeling not feeling much right now in the main what's going on. I wasn't inspired by anything. Yeah. Then this new wave of R&B and hip hop and, and just experimental music. I was like, yeah, man, I was inspired again to do, to bring my own vibe onto, you know, onto this album. Jet Set and how do you manage to do it all the time? You remind me of David Beckham. You're constantly from the US to the UK. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you're looking fresh. How do Thank you, you how, do, how do you manage it? Yeah, uh, it's just part of my life now, man. I don't even think about it. Me getting on a plane is like most people hopping into an Uber. It's just, it's <laughs> that, it's like, okay, I'm going to, I'm going to, after this, I fly to New York for two days. Then I fly to Australia for uh, a tour for a month and I'll be flying around Australia. You know what I mean? And that's just in the fourth month of this, of this year. And I've done, God knows, I've already been around the world three times this, this year. So you, you've done a I'm lot. Used you've, you've done a lot. Jay. I'm used to it. Uh, Jay, we've got, I've got one more question to ask yeah, you. Yeah. Will you and Rishi make more music because of the haircut is reminding me of those <laughs> times now, you know? It's all nostalgia. Absolutely we will. Please do. 100%. Can we shake on it? 100%, brother. It's a verbal contract. We're, we're going to, yeah, me and Rishi are brothers. We're going to be working together till we're very old. Oh. If you guys still want to hear us. They do, they do. very old. They want to hear you guys forever. I love Jay, that. it's been an absolute pleasure. Thank and you. Finally, this is one for the bucket list. Uh, and the sound was on, right? Great. The, the sound was, yeah. Hello, good, one, two, one, good two. Good stuff, sure. good stuff. Yeah, we're good, we're good. <laughs> <laughs>